Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Shorts Brewing Company. They're out of Michigan. This is their Hazy Controversy Ale. And uh, this was sent to me by Brad. And he writes, uh, Shorts Brewing out of Elk Rapids, Michigan. First is their Hazy Controversy Ale, which I guess is a different version of their original Controversy Ale. It comes in at 6% ABV and was bottled on 72717. And I didn't see any kind of dating. It must be a, the bottle is sweating now, so I can't see if there's any, what kind of dating or anything is on the bottle. We'll take a closer look and confirm that when I come back. Uh, but the thing about this beer is there is no ABV or anything written on the label. Uh, they need to do that because there's some misinformation out there. Uh, beer Advocate has this listed at 6%, and that's what Brad has written on his uh, information. Uh, Untapped has it at 6.6%, so I'm not sure what the ABV is. Uh, they need to put that on the label, guys. They really do. Uh, so, uh, this got a great big long commercial description, so let me jump through it real quick. Controversy Ale, Hanging Frank is a tribute to Simcoe Hops. Simcoe Hops are extremely sought after and limited, so Shorts decided to share the unique brew with Michigan craft beer lovers every spring. This earthy citrus and pine lace nose is instantly delectable. Large amounts of toasted grains and high alpha hops form a perfect union that creates a cool sensation of toasted sourdough covered with zesty grapefruit hop marmalade. Controversy Ale has an enchantingly straightforward hop aroma flavor and overall intensity through ample additions of only Simcoe hops. So it's a one hop beer. While this beer is hop like an IPA, it drinks like a pale ale. The light refreshing qualities of this beer make it perfect for springtime. Well, we're in summertime now. Uh, and I don't know if I would agree with that as far as pale ale. Untapped has this at 65 IBUs. It's a little strong for a pale ale IBUs. So, we're getting ready to pop this thing open and see what we got. Uh, I'm not sure what the ABV is, guys. 6% or 6.6. .6. We got two uh, conflicting information. It needs to be on the damn label. That's my opinion. All right. With that being said, it's time. Let me get the cap off of this thing. Like this, a little bit of smoke. Into the glass we go. Cuisine is curried in a tie. Cheeses of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that. And the glass for a pint, back or not, come to a mug, sign side down. And it says here, not recommended for extended cellarings. So, drink them fresh, guys. And like I said, I'll check for a dating on that. But he did tell me it was July 27th on it. Today's the 19th of August, so... Uh, about three weeks old, according to what Brad is telling me. Uh, it is very hazy. I can see a little bit of light through the bottom part, but it's a very cloudy beer. I don't think, I'm not sure whether they're trying to jump in and call it a hazy uh, to the New England style. It is no juice bomb by appearance to me at all, guys. A uh, nice amber color does not look like orange juice in the glass. So, didn't pour very much of a head on that pour. Let's get it to the nose. Very nice hop aroma. Simcoe is an excellent hop. I have brewed with it before. It's a very, very, very tasty hop. Nice pine, grapefruit, pineapple. It's not super pungent, but it's there. 
Maybe a little bit of citrusy tropical fruit notes that go along with that. You know, it's pretty good. Let's dive in. Cured it by cured bread. No, the hops are not super up in your face. I would not call this a West Coast style. They're there, but they're a little more on the subdued side. And it's a little stronger than an East Coast style, or as a hot presence. And it's a fresh beer. It's not even a month old. But it's a one hot beer. It doesn't even say whether it was dry hopped, I don't think. So, uh, as far as pale ale, drinking like a pale ale, no. Uh, I do get that bitterness on the back end from the 65 IBUs. Uh, I would not say that. It is a nice drinking beer, but it has definitely got more bitterness than a standard pale ale has. Now, there are some pales that have that bitterness, but uh, most of them are down in the 40 range, no more than 50. This is mid-60s, so... Uh, I would not agree with that uh, that comment there. This this would not be something that you would jump into for a pale ale because the bitterness is probably going to be a little too strong for you. But other than that, it, it is a nice balanced beer. The hops are not super overpowering from the malt base. So uh, a nice balanced beer. The alcohol is well hidden, whether it's 6 or 6.6 percent, I'm not sure. But it uh, seemed like a, a, a tasty, nice drinking IPA. Well, let's right out of the fridge. Let me sip on it for a while, let her have some, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. A little left here. Awesome lacing is left on the glass, guys. To me, it's, it's a nice beer. It's a decent beer. It's not an A beer. It's not world class, outstanding, or anything like that. Uh, for what they're calling it on top of that, drinks like a pale ale, I disagree. It uh, and drinks like an IPA, guys. Standard bitterness for an IPA, 65 IBUs. I'm not sure, like I said, whether it's a 6% or 6.6% 6 6 like Untapped has it. They need to have that information on the bottle. And as far as date, right on the neck, it does say, it is so hard to read when they put black writing on a dark brown bottle. Packaged. 72717, just like Brad said. But virtually, when they print, print black ink on a dark brown bottle with the beer in it, it's very hard to see a lot of times. So, you need to change the color of the ink. Put some white, yellow, bright blue, something like that on there instead of black on a dark brown bottle. Bible chug. To me, it's your typical IPA, guys. Uh, okay beer. If you can get a good deal on the six-pack uh, where it's distributed up in Michigan, it'll probably a nice beer. Probably a lot of people like this beer. Uh, pretty much run of the meal for an IPA, in my opinion. Uh, B for me, 85. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has it at 85. I agree 100%. That's exactly where I put it. Over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 6.6%, .6%, so I'm not sure if that's correct. Uh, they have it at 3.68, which is their B range, too. So, B beer all the way around, guys. Uh, decent beer, but nothing world class, nothing outstanding. Brad, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate you sending it to me. Uh, guys, if you've had this from Shorts Brewing, this is their Hazy Controversy Ale. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.